Then RT Cold Attack, we're going to look at the process of disabling control panel. Uh, I'm doing this within Windows 8, uh, but the same steps will work uh, under Windows 7 as well. Uh, this could be useful if you're trying to restrict uh, access on the computer, perhaps you've got a child or other user on your computer, and as well as setting up their profile uh, to restrict the applications they can use or websites they can access, you might also want to take away control panel so they also don't have the ability to make changes to any of the settings. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go into the user that you want to make these changes to, that you want to disable control panel on, uh, and the user account that you change needs to have admin rights, but obviously you don't want it to keep those admin rights, so you need to change it back once you've finished making the changes. So if you go into user accounts in control panel, manage another account, select the uh, account you want to disable uh, control panel in, so we'll go to test users, and here it's currently set as administrator, if it's set, you want it set as just a standard user for normal operations, but to make changes you do need it set as admin, so if it's set as standard already, just change it to admin and save changes, and then once you've finished disabling control panel, just go back and change it back to standard. But uh, for the purpose of recording this video, I'm going to stick in my main account. Cancel that. Now, if you're using Windows 8 Pro or one of the professional versions of Windows 7, this is dead easy to do using GP Edit. Full channel file, search, and type in GP Edit. And here we have the local group policy editor. Now to disable control panel. Let's just while I'm thinking about it, we can see is working. I can access the control panel. So if we go to user configuration. Administrative templates. Control panel. And you should see it says prohibit access to control panel from PC settings. Double click on that. And here we say not configured, enabled, disabled, disabled. Enabled. If you need any help using the system, there's a handy little help box that tells you what it does. Go to enabled, click apply. Okay. And now, if I try to access control panel, I get an error message telling me that it's been restricted. Now I've done this with my admin account, so I'm going to change it back. But if you do that, uh, we always say one of your children's accounts, then they'll no longer have access to control panel, but you will in your account still. Which is why you have to yeah, make the changes within the account that you want it to affect. We'll change that back. And now we have access to the control panel again. Dead simple. Now, if you're not using uh, Windows 8 or Windows 7 Pro, if you're using the home standard version, there is another workaround you can do um, using the registry editor. So, again, if you put charms bar, search. If you're using Windows 7, you'd click start and use the search bar that appears at the bottom of the start menu. Edit. Click yes. Now, making changes to the registry can be dangerous. Um, this is effectively the nuts and bolts of your operating system, and if you make the wrong change, you may break your computer. 
so it's always a good idea to go to file export and just save a copy of your registry uh, to an external media to an external hard drive or a USB stick that way if you do make any changes uh, that result in your computer not working how you like you can re-import your save backup registry and those changes that you've made will have gone now can to uh, block out control panel from the inside the registry you want to go to H key current user That's a local machine, H key current user. Again, current user because you want to do this on the uh, uh, profile user account that you're logged into. So log into the account you want to make the changes to. And we want software. Windows version for just Windows version. So we're into the current version. Policies and Explorer. Right click new D word 32 bit value. Give the value the name of no control panel. Right click on it, click modify. Change the value from 0 to 1, click OK. And then restart your computer. And once you've done that, once you restart, you'll have no access to control panel from the user account that you've affected that on. And that's uh, how you disable control panel.